Hello space nerds, welcome to a tomorrow news update and today I would like to talk about India, the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO, who have just achieved a historic milestone of docking in space for the very first time. They're only the fourth nation to do so after the United States, Russia, and China. And this is going to open up a lot of doors for them to do many more advanced missions. They can start doing things like space station assembly, in-orbit refueling, and even some of their upcoming missions like Chandrayaan-4, which plans on returning lunar samples to Earth. That's going to involve multiple dockings of robotic spacecraft. So let's get into it. This mission that India just conducted is called SpaceX, which stands for the Space Docking Experiment. It's two small spacecraft, each weighing around 220 kilograms, and the mission involves their chaser and target spacecraft, which were sent into a 470 kilometer circular orbit with a 55 degree inclination. Aside from the docking itself, the primary objectives including verifying the transfer of electrical power and operating both satellites as a single unit after docking, demonstrating stability and control. The satellites were equipped with a natively developed Bharatiya docking system, which follows the international docking system standard, but is adapted for a lower mass and inertia, making this docking even harder because of its smaller size and demanding a greater need for precision. SpadeX launched on December 30th, 2024, aboard a PSLV rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, India. The launch was perfect, placing both satellites into their intended orbits. However, the real test was the subsequent maneuvers leading up to the docking, which had a couple of challenges along the way. Initially, the docking was scheduled for December 7th. However, ISRO needed more time for simulations to ensure the accuracy of an abort scenario that was triggered during pre-docking tests. So they pushed it to January 9th. However, on January 8th, during a maneuver to reduce the distance between the satellites from 1,500 meters to 225 meters, the satellites experienced an unexpected drift beyond what was anticipated after a period of no visibility from the Indian ground stations. This drift prompted ISRO to postpone the docking again and reset their positions, focusing on ensuring the safety of the satellites. On January 12th, another attempt was made at docking, reducing the distance from 230 meters all the way down to 15 meters. However, after holding there and attempting to move even closer from 15 meters to 3 meters, a delay in signals from a proximity sensor triggered an automatic abort, leading to the satellites separating again. This demanded even more analysis and testing on the ground. So ISRO took the cautious approach, understanding that this is a very complicated maneuver and the need for absolute accuracy. There is no wiggle room when it comes to space docking. I, in my personal opinion, it's even harder than landing on the moon. And anyone who's played Kerbal Space Program knows that you experience these types of issues that ISRO experienced in real life. Thankfully for ISRO, each issue that they had, they meticulously analyzed and made sure that all of their sensors were calibrated and that everything was good to go, especially in their simulations. And also, thankfully, ISRO claimed that the spacecraft had plenty of fuel on board for multiple attempts. Finally, on January 15th, 2025, ISRO achieved its goal with the satellites successfully docking, and ISRO confirmed that they had a successful transfer of electrical power between the satellites. The SpadeX mission, despite its minor problems and issues, did give ISRO invaluable data and experience. It validated ISRO's docking technology for future missions. ISRO learned lessons on how to handle drift and sensor issues. And I gotta say, their approach to addressing all of these issues, to me, brings more confidence that they are committed to safety and precision. Which I really, really, really hope that it means that the international community will be even more accepting of ISRO and hopefully collaborate on future projects with them. 
Real quick, I'd like to give an honorable mention to some extra experiments that were flown on this mission and installed on the PSLV Orbital Experiment Platform, otherwise known as POEM. This is the upgraded fourth stage of a PSLV rocket with solar panels, computers, thrusters, and more so that it can be used as a satellite and experiment platform, similar to Rocket Lab's Photon platform. It basically turns a rocket upper stage into its own functional spacecraft. This was the fourth time that India has launched something like this, and after the SpadeX satellites deployed, a few notable experiments were on board Poem Number 4, including an advanced robotic arm and an attachment for that arm, which someday could be used for orbital debris capture and even satellite refueling. There was also a plant growth experiment aboard POEM-4 named CROPS, which stands for Compact Research Module for Orbital Plant Studies, which is honestly a great acronym. Here's a time lapse of some cowpea plants sprouting. I think that it's great that even if the space docking failed, India would still have some useful experiments on this flight. So. Looking forward, India is going to be using the same size of docking that they used on the SpadeX mission for the Chandrayaan-4 mission returning lunar samples. They're going to have to dock multiple times in orbit around Earth, in orbit around the Moon, and they're going to really need that system to work perfectly in order to transfer those samples and return them to Earth successfully. Beyond that, though, they're building an even bigger docking module that they're going to be using for their Gaganyan human spacecraft, and eventually, their own Indian space station. Although the initial flights of Gaganyan won't have a docking port, ISRO wants to dock Gaganyan to the International Space Station at least once before its retirement in 2030. Right now, they're negotiating an uncrewed delivery mission to the ISS to gain experience before starting their own space station and hopefully gain the confidence of the ISS partners along the way so that those partners might participate in the Indian space station. Before that, though, Gaganyan will have several uncrewed test flights this year in 2025 and, if everything goes well, should have their first crewed mission in 2026. So for now... Big congratulations to ISRO for achieving their first space docking, and I think it's really admirable that they are not only pushing forward their technology, but showing a commitment to the global space industry. Otherwise, they would have developed their own technology instead of adhering to the international docking standard. I think that's incredible. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let us know what you think about this achievement in the comments. I'd really like to know your thoughts on this. Stay tuned for more updates about space exploration, and until next time, keep moving onwards and upwards, everybody. Don't forget, Ad Astra, to the stars.